But I turned the lights on so I could do my skincare. My morning skincare is really never anything crazy. I just wash my face, tone, and sunscreen. Really, that's it. I got this turmeric face wash from um, TJ Maxx. So trust me, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I just seen it at the store. And I was like, oh, I'm in need of face wash. So I bought it. So as you can see, I don't have a fancy skincare routine. I look the prettiest when I wash my face. You can tell me. After washing your face, you look 20 times better. I'm using the Brightening Toner by Good, Mo Good Molecules. That's what I use on my face. And I've been using it for like six or seven months now. And... I can definitely say that I think it works because I use a lot of other products so because of that I can never really know what works and what doesn't but with toner you just want to press it into your skin why am I doing a skincare routine that I'm not qualified to do <laughs> oh lord just the ordinary Alpha Arbutin, and this is supposed to help with dark marks. Ooh. So I just put it on my cheeky cheek, my chin, all the areas that I have dark spots. <clears throat> and then I just let it dry. And usually you can get a fan to dry your face, but I just usually use my hand. See this pimple? I just tried to pop it. That's my issue too. I'm always popping them. And then for my lips, I used the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I use that on my face as well sometimes. On my areas that I don't get oily. Another thing that I like to do in the morning when I have time is ice roll my face. So I'm going to use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter to moisturize the parts of my face that don't get as oily as the rest. Like this area right here gets super oily. But this area stays dry like literally this much. I'm not flicking you off, I promise. My skin looks so pretty though. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> I love my winter shade. It's gonna be winter forever. No say, no say. I just like it. I use the Dermalogical Clearing Defense SPF 30, and this is a high protection sunscreen. And the reason why I like the sunscreen is because it moisturizes and it also protects, but it doesn't leave you with a white cast. Like it blends into your skin so perfectly. Alright, let's blend this in. this in. <laughs> okay skincare is done all right so now that my skincare is done i'm gonna do a little quick everyday makeup routine i haven't eaten anything i haven't done anything else but i want to look presentable for y'all so let's do it This is my exodus, this is my exodus My camera overheated, I don't know why, but we're moving on to eyebrows I just put some shining jam on my eyebrows and then I just brush them And like pat it, just so it, the shine can go away my eyebrows need ma massive help. All right, now we're just gonna set the face. As you can see, the blush. Can you see? The blush really did it for you, girl. Wow, let's set the face. All right, y'all. So my makeup's are fully done. It looks good. I have a lot of cleaning to do. I haven't eaten, but before I start cleaning, I'm just going to do a little morning devotional and spend some time with the Lord. 
and then I'll start cleaning like my room I did laundry like last week but I haven't had time to fold the clothes which I don't think I'm gonna fold I do like a bucket system where I put shirts pants, and stuff but I wanted to start folding in them again because it's kind of hard to find things and they're all at the bottom of the bin but I think I'm not there yet. we're still gonna keep the bins okay so that's what I'm about to do is my morning Devo with my Devo. The song I listened to today was Freedom Looks Good On You by Maverick City Music. And then this is my devotional, daily devotional that I do. It's called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And she basically has a devotional in here for every single day of the year. The way she writes this is like Jesus himself speaking to you. So she writes it from his point of view, but she also uses scripture to say what Jesus is saying in his word. So it's not just coming off the top of her head, like it's coming from scripture. So I really like that. <clears throat> so basically what I got from it, and let me show you, it's dated for each day of the year. Like today is January 16th, and you can see it says January 16th, and it's a 365 day devotional. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront if you are interested in getting this. Um, so basically, today's devotional, let me read it to you guys. Want me to read it to you? Should we do it together? I've already done it, but should we do it together? I don't like reading out loud. I always sound like I'm stuttering. Okay, but let's do it. Come to me and rest in my loving presence. You know that this day will bring you difficulties and you are trying to think your way through, through those trials. And as you anticipate what is ahead of you, you forget that I am with you now and always. Rehearsing your troubles results in experiencing them many times, whereas you are meant to go through them only when you actually when they actually occur. Do not multiply your sufferings in this way. Instead, come to me and relax in my peace. I will strengthen you and prepare you for this day, transforming your fear into confident trust. So basically, what I got from that is pretty self-explanatory. So I wrote in my notebook, I said, God wants us to come to him in stressful situations. Don't try to think your way out of, out of, um, those stressful situations like when you wake up you know that the day comes with difficulties like it said so don't try to get ahead of those difficulties and try to solve them before they even happened you know just go about your day rest in God's presence and just know that he's with you and no matter what you go through during that day it happened Whatever it is, if it was a bad thing, just know that he was with you. He knew it was going to happen. It was part of his plan. So just rest in him. And that's not what I wrote, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, so what I wrote, I said, God wants you to come to him in stressful situations. Don't try to think your way out of it. Rest in his presence instead of focusing on your problems. He w And when we focus on our problems, we tend to multiply them. So that's it. And then the verse of the day, two verses of the day, is found in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30 and it says come to me all who are weary and burdened and burdened and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you learn from me and I am gentle and humble for I am gentle <laughs> for I am gentle and humble in your heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and then in Joshua 1, verse 5 through 9, verse 5 and 9, no one will be able to, to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. Discourage, for the Lord your God will be with you when, wherever you go. Which is pretty self-explanatory. Just saying, again, when you wake up, like today, don't go thinking about how terrible your day is going to be and all the problems you're going to face that day. Just when you wake up, just make sure that you pray for a good day and that the Lord may give you ways to handle certain difficulties that may be going through in your life maybe at work you know just pray for a way for you to handle it don't because a lot of times we pray for us for the problem to go away but we should be praying for ways to handle those problems and like different strategies and different ways that we can go about solving it but problems are never going to go away so just rest in the lord and just know that he's with you and his presence and that whenever you're going through difficult times the bible is on your phone go to that verse and read it and just know that he's with you and that you're not alone whatever you're going through you're not alone okay let me go make breakfast i'm starving excuse me can i please talk to you for a minute uh-huh sure you know you look kind of familiar yeah you do too but um, I just wanted to know, do you know somebody named, you, you know his name? Oh yeah, definitely, I know his name. But I just want to let you know that he's mine. <laughs> no, no, he's mine. My camera's about to die, so let's make it quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not really aesthetically pleasing like I usually do, but it's the real raw, uncut me in the morning. But I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment.